Hi there, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you're enjoying the last little remnants of summer. Seems like it just came and went so fast. Today I'm going to be sharing with you uh, some measuring tools. And Now AutoCAD's had measuring tools since the beginning of time, right? Distance and area, but these are newer measuring tools. You want to use these guys. They're much smarter, easier to use, and much more visual. A few releases ago, AutoCAD came out with a new command called Measure Geom for Measure Geometry. And it's in here that you're going to find these great tools. All right, so let me show you what I'm talking about. So on the Home tab of the ribbon are the measure tools right here. All right, so I'm going to start off with distance, right? Distance, very simple. Now, I just love, this is so much more visual than it used to be, right? Just grab any two points in space, and AutoCAD tells me all types of information, right? It tells me the distance, it shows me the angle. Very, very friendly, very easy to use. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do that again. I can't just hit an enter to go right back into distance because it'll just repeat the measure geom command. I still have to tell it which option I want, so I usually just grab it from the ribbon. So in many cases, you want to continue with your distance. You want to continue calculating. You want it to continue right, adding those distances together. So there's an option for multiple points that I can type in. Very easy to do, and I can continue just to go ahead and pick. Let's pick there. Let's come up here and pick here. But you'll see it continues cumulative, right? It continues to take those distances and add them together for me. So I love that, right? So that's distance. Let's take a look at area. So here is the area option. We're still in the measure geom command. And it works just like the old area command. So I'm going to start off with A for add. So I can do an add and a subtract. This is very, very visual. You'll see as I move through here, which I like, because sometimes I miss. Sometimes I'm a bad shot, and I want to be able to tell that I was a bad shot. I'm sure at some point here <laughs> I will, I will sh share that with you. So I, got the four, I have the four corners of the room, so I'm going to hit an enter. And it gives me the total area and the perimeter for that. But now if I want to, I can subtract. Let's do an S for subtract. Maybe I want to subtract out that stairway section. Maybe I'm going to try to calculate the carpeting or something like that. Now I love this. Isn't that nice? It's a different color. Very, very visual. Very easy to work with. And we hit an enter and it tells me the final area and the final perimeter. Very, very, very easy to work with. All right, so that's area. All right. Now while I'm over here, a nice option that was added in is one for volume. Works great for those of you who are working in 3D. Let's do volume. Very simple, a lot like area. I'm just going to grab the corners that I want for the base. Pick over here and pick over here for this side of the room. And when I'm finished, I can hit an enter. It's going to ask me to specify the height. Now you have to, you're probably going to want to be keying in that height. You can you know, do it any way you want to. I'm just going to type in 60. And you'll see that it just multiplies that together and it gets the, fine, the total volume, which is really nice. All right, switch over to the other side. Let's switch over to this guy over here. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't tell you how many times I've just drawn a dimension so I could calculate an angle or find out in a radius. Especially, I do it all the time specifically for, for angles. So now you don't have to do that anymore. You can just go into the measure geom command and you can say I'm after an angle. Then you don't have to delete the dimension after the fact, right? So this is very simple. You can actually pick an arc. You can select two lines, you know, and pick the, the, the two lines that you want to create a specific angle. There's a lot of variety of options on here. Let's see which, what we're going to do today. I'm going to come in here. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to, you can pick a vertex too as well. But, oh, I'm in the wrong viewport. I'm going to go ahead and select that line there and that line over here, and you'll see that it gives me the angle, which is so much easier than just physically creating a dimension and then checking it out, right? So a lot of options there. You can pick the vertex, you can pick two lines across, or you can just pick an arc. Let's see, should we do radius? Why not? Let's do radius. That way we can say we hit them all. Radius, I'm just going to go ahead and grab this arc right here. And there you'll see it gives me the radius. So very simple, very friendly. These measuring commands are very low stress. Make sure you use these guys. Don't use the old ones. I know hard, old habits are hard to break, but you'll be much happier with these. Okay, all right. So thank you for joining me. And I hope to see you back here in two more weeks.